In this video, I'll show you how I created 200 blog posts that are insanely good in about two minutes. I'm going to show you the costs, the strategy, how to do it for your own website so you can rank higher on Google and make more money. So this is the tool, seowriting.ai. It's pretty darn insane. As you can see, I have 100. See it 100 up here? 100 are being created, and it's already created like, I don't know, 85. But look, interpreting bonsai leaves for health, and style. Look at this. I want, I want to show you something. All of this was AI created. In other words, I didn't do anything. These are AI images. It's insane. And the cost for this is around $1 per blog post. Look at the quality here. Look at the quality. I mean, is your mind blown? My mind's blown. For a dollar? For a dollar. And it does sources. So we're going to dive into what I'm doing. I'm using three different websites. And I'm considering these as like sacrificial websites. I don't care if they go down to zero. I'm going to pump money into these websites. Number one, Bonsai Mary. Number two, How Widely Spoken. And number three, The Thrifty Whale. We are going to do a series on autoblogging. And I have a fourth website coming up where I'm going to do, listen, I'm going to do 500 blog posts before I push it live. And we're going to shock Google's system to see if this thing works. But nonetheless, this is the tool. I'm going to show you how to use it, and I'm going to show you the strategies, the costs, all of it. So strap in. Here we go. Now look here. We have eight different options. Eight. We have one-click blog posts. We have bulk article generation. And all of these down here, how-to guides, product roundups. For our purposes, I am using the bulk article generation tool. This was so easy to use. I've used other auto blogging tools. And this tool I'm showing you right here is not only the best output I've seen, but the best UI, the user interface is great. So what we have to do to begin with is create what we want to write. And you can push 100 articles up here to begin with. We need a title, a main keyword, and keywords over here. But guess what? It does a lot of it automatically. I'm going to show you how to use this. Now, first stop is HowWidelySpoken.com. This is a powerful website, but I have not given it the love it deserves because I'm so darn busy. Enter auto blogging, right? Do you feel me? All right, so here's the Google Search Console. I bought it in May, this website, for about $2,000, and it's gone sideways. We may get, you know, 100 clicks, 150 clicks a day. Not very impressive, but let's just go a little further. The DR on this thing, in other words, it's, it's how powerful is this website? How many backlinks, how many authoritative backlinks come to it? And quite a few, it's a DR47. So maybe when we start to use the bulk article generation and we start drafting and scheduling articles out, it's like putting seeds into fertile ground. Now I'll show you the initial hub that I'm working for for how widely spoken. This is an example one. So we're doing what language do they speak in country? Country, every single country in the world in South Korea. What language do they speak? Key takeaways? Look at the beautiful AI imagery. Like this is a click of a button. Uh, tables, we have bolded, the official language. The official language spoken in South Korea is Korean. It answers it. That's pretty darn good. Microsemantics, happy with it. Uh, Korean dialects, it's getting into it. These pictures are really good. Look, it gets tables. Let's keep going with it. I'm pretty sure that's like gibberish text, but it looks awesome. I mean, I'd dig on it if I was on this website. Some cool filler images. Uh, I will say the images on this tool are probably what costs the most money. But look at this. This thing is like over 3,000 words. Give me the frequently asked questions and sources. One of the problems is sometimes the sources link out to competitors, but I'm just going to let it roll. We're going to let it roll. But I want to be clear of how I do this. So I need to teach you how to use this tool. Right, so I have every single you know country represented here in the world. I think I do. Nonetheless, I've highlighted the ones that I've pushed the tool already. So these are like um, I'm seeing these articles as like glue for the website. I want to eventually talk about every single language in the world. So let's lay down a blanket of every single country, and I can relate back to every single country. So let's find this. Let's go back to the top. I want to show you um, how we are going to do this. So we're going to go to bulk article generation. I think I have a couple more credits we could do. Let's grab, uh, let's just grab 20 of them. All right, copy, all right? We're copying them. Main keyword title. There it is. The main keyword is, let's just generate. Okay, we have to push it here. So that's what I did. And then generate NLP. So look here, you have a main keyword, you have a title. I just want the title to be what I want it to be. You can generate an automated one. I don't like that. I want the title to be exactly what I want. And then you press, you know, NLP. And it starts to say, oh, okay, what else should we focus on in this article? 
We can refine it a bit right here, which we probably will get to in future videos. So listen, if you like this, if you want to go on this adventure with me, we're going to spend a lot of money uh, so you don't have to to see if this works, to see if Google likes it or doesn't like it. But so far, so good. So look, it's generating the NLPs. It's going to spit this one out. Look, 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 stop. I could stop it. But nonetheless, let's just work on this down here. So the language is English. What I could do is, is make it small, make it medium. I've been sticking with medium. I'm happy with that. We could do professional. We could do friendly, informational. I'm going to go this point of view. I like I, me, my target country, United States placement image generation each section so i could make this listen like like i said i could say just after the h1 but this is a high dr website so i want to make sure i'm giving it the love it deserves i'm spending a little extra money so in each header section high quality image style photo that's what i've been doing conclusion yes tables yes 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 italics yes bold all of these things yes a connect to the web yes source links yes is this crazy is this crazy publication, how widely spoken. Let's go here, schedule. Let's start this because I think we posted, I think we posted a hundred of them for two a day. So that's 50 days. So approximately uh, 50 days out. So if we are September 19th, uh, it'll be, that'll be 30 days ish. The 9th, let's just say start the 15th of November. Let's bump this to three a day and let's put this in what language do they speak? This is the category, right? Do you see, this is really darn good. We can push tags here and we are gonna use ChatGPT plus four. So it does a combination of GPT Turbo 3.5 and four to conserve credits. And I've done a little study. Um, where is it? Do I have it up right here? Here it is. I used this yesterday, right? And I gave the tool my own API key because I don't wanna be throttled on the amount of words I can use. And we only used $20 through our own OpenAI API key. This thing is very, very affordable when you compare it to other bulk article generation tools. Now pop it back here. Remember, we have it all set up and it did all the NLP. Look, that's 20 articles all the way down to uh, Burma. So I need to be very clear. I need to go back here. I need to highlight yellow so I don't get lost down to Burma. Boom, here we go. Boom, good, 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 good. All right, so let's just double check this. All these things look good in each, se in the, in each section. Yes, I want images in each section. Looks good. Schedule, we're starting here, three a day. Um, let me hit run and I'll show you what happens. Boom, run. 20 documents will be generated posted to this website. So we got to double check. Yes. Uh, okay, continue. And just like that, I'm done. It's scheduled it all out. I don't have to do anything else. Now there's deficiencies in autoblog and regardless of how good the output is, we're going to get into that later. I'm going to show you more examples of what to do, but I want to be very clear on the price of this tool, right? I showed you $20 for OpenAI. Now check this out. This is the total all-in cost aside from OpenAI. Not bad. And like I said, the images cost the most money. So if I just wanted to have the words, I mean, we're talking 60 plus $80, 80 bucks for 200, 250 articles. That's not bad. That's really, really good. That's like 30 cents is my math, right? 30 cents an article. The price goes up to about a dollar, I guess, 20 cents, if my math is right, when you have these awesome AI images. So this is one of the ones, it's a 3000 word article, right? Show meta tags, uh, meta title and overview of bonsai tree species, meta description, looks pretty decent. I mean, it could be a little better there, but look at the images. Key takeaways right there, close to the fold. These are fake bonsai images that could pass as real. I mean, some of them look funky, but like if I was a user, I'd be like, that's pretty darn accurate. That looks like a ficus tree to me. And the content is pretty darn good too. So this here, this article is going to, where are you? This website here. So let's go into here. Let's go into Ahrefs. I'll show you Bonsai Mary, what we're up to. And as you can see, Bonsai Mary has a DR of 26. So yet again, this is fertile ground we're working with. I have a website. We're going to use the Thrifty Whale, which is not fertile ground. This is probably more akin to your website, you, you know, a fresh website. We're going to do an experiment with that one too, but I just want to show you what we have. This is the first video in the series, DR26. Cool. And this is what it looks like, the traffic right now, a little bump because I gave it a little bit of love with some articles on philodendron. I have videos on that uh, previously. Here's the top queries. But nonetheless, my goal is to just pump articles, spend money on these websites and see if we can get them to 100,000 per month, visitors per month on any of these. We're doing experiments. We're spending money. So if you like it, please subscribe. But nonetheless, here's Bonsai Mary. Here's some outputs. Let's go over here. How long do bonds? I want you to see more of this stuff. So this is uh, 5,400 words. How long do bonsais live? Let's take a second, 
Bonsai trees can live for a long time with proper care. I wish it was more specific, but that's not bad. Key takeaways, the lifespan depends on factors such as care. Well, it's, it's accurate. Look at this. Pretty good formatting. Looks like an old tree, an old bonsai tree. Look at that. That guy is not real, but he looks real. What the heck? Uh, keep going with it. Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, I have spotted some weird images. Like if I go here, geez, Louise. I mean, I like these images. I like them more than reality. I mean, they are like, they're obviously like Photoshopped-ish, right? But they're cool. But I want to show you, I'll go back here to the dashboard. I want to show you other things that this tool has spit out that I was like, eh, kind of weird. It had to do with how widely spoken. Let's see here. Let's go down here so you can scroll over to see what was created already. Uh, let's say what language they speak in Kenya. Oh, that one's still being created. Sometimes the faces. Let's go to North Korea. Let's just see. Okay, is that North Korea? I don't know. I don't think that's what it looks like. But let's just look. Um, all right, that's good. It's like cartoonish. Just look at the people. Not bad. The hands sometimes get messed up, but this is really beside the point because it can rank regardless if it's per perfect images. So the point is, look, we're going to start a series on Autoblog. And if you like this stuff, subscribe to this channel. Um, I'm usually the micro semantic guy. That means that I go in here and I want this to be perfect. Like autoblogging is not my jam. So you're going to see a different perspective from someone who's used to like very precise written on-page SEO. So <laughs> it's going to be an adventure for me because I'm not the expert on autoblogging, but I know what to do once I get the text. So in the coming videos, we're going to look at deficiencies of this. Right, we're going to see how we can improve it, maybe put some processes in place after the fact, after they're published. But right now, the schedule is this. I have two blogs a day going on to Bonsai Mary. I have two blogs a day going on to How Widely Spoken. And once that goes for about a month, we're going to ramp it to three. And then we're going to ramp it to four and to five. We're going to see where we go. The Thrifty Whale, this one right here, um, I haven't done it yet. Right, we haven't pushed any um, blog articles yet, so in the next video we'll go over the Thrifty Whale, the game plan there, and see how the other websites are doing.